Hello, my name is Ellie Zweibel. I am an attorney in Denver who represents students and parents in educational matters. Um, and a book that I stand by is The Diving Bell and the Butterfly by Jean-Dominique Bobby. Um, as you can see, I also stand by getting books from the library. It's a system I stand by. I stand by this book um, because I find it continually inspirational um, and it compels uh, reflection about uh, privilege, about ability, about human relationships, um, and about what it means to be interior, um, both literally and metaphorically. Um, basic synopsis, Jean-Dominique Bobby, it's, it's a non-fictional uh, sort of memoir, uh, was the editor of French Elle magazine. Um, he suffered a major stroke um, and endured what's called uh, locked-in syndrome, uh, meaning that he lost control over all of the muscles in his body except for his left eyelid. Um, after going through uh, several surgeries um, and some therapies, um, he essentially um, learned an alternative alphabet, uh, wherein he would blink to indicate um, on a placard when somebody was reading this alternative alphabet to him, a letter he wanted uh, to use to communicate. Um, and he wrote this memoir entirely that way, one letter at a time just by blinking, um, and with the assistance of his uh, speech therapist. Um, he reflects on being a son, on being a father, a lover, and a husband. Um, he's very rarely explicit in the lessons um, that he has to share or his thoughts. Uh, mostly the book is his memories and descriptions of various scenes from his life in the past and in the present um, while he's enduring this uh, locked-in syndrome. Um, he leaves us, the readers, um, to recognize that when everything is stripped away, um, the love we have shared or the love that we have withheld, um, prioritized or procrastinated, is all that will remain. I read this first in college, uh, both when I was kind of starting to explore um, careers in education as well as um, in being a lawyer. Um, I was reading a lot of other literature about justice and, and the carceral system, and so the ideas of being locked in um, spoke to me and what I was learning in a couple of ways, and then also seeing how the mind can uh, really shift and adapt um, spoke to me in, in my passions about education and, and what the human brain can do. Um, so uh, I find this to be a beautiful memoir um, that is equally uh, beautiful, though different, from its film counterpart. Um, great movie to accompany this as well. Um, I return to The Diving Bell and the Butterfly for inspiration um, and motivation uh, to invest in the relationships in my life, uh, to search for opportunity um, when encountered with challenge, um, to challenge systems that contribute to the silencing or marginalizing of people just because of who they are and how they were born, um, and to a reminder uh, to express gratitude every single day. Um, and that's why this is a book that I stand by.